Hey, buddy. What you doing? Shh. <laughs> okay, nope. You're not getting me with the the game can hear you thing again. Not for the fourth time. Not shh. The game can hear you. Shh. I can hear you. And I don't want to. I'm concentrating. You're literally sitting there on a horse wearing a poncho and an eye patch. So unless the game can test your depth perception. Shh. It's time. It's time! Oh, crazy! Was that one of those, uh, what do you label them? Like, idle animations when Sonic taps his foot? No, sir. I told the horse to do that. It can hear you! Nice! I told the horse to do that by pressing a button. Okay? Just a button. Like every other game ever. Uh-huh. Right. Sure. Okay, so why did you sh** on the road? Because I'm setting a trap so I can capture this jeep. How? Are they like an overly fastidious military, or rate my poo enthusiast? Because you could probably just kill them. You should just kill them, really. Oh! Yeah! It totally worked! What the fuck? Are your horses' intestines lined with banana peels or oil slicks? Bam! Mario Kart reference. Hang on, I gotta capture these guys. What is this game? Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. This is Metal Gear Solid, like secret agent infiltration game Metal Gear Solid? Because I played that in college, man. There were fewer or no fecal traps. I mean, it's newer, but it's the same basic game, yeah. Oh, hey, uh, hey, buddy. What the f just happened? I just used the Fulton Balloon Recovery Device to send the Jeep and two guys back to my secret base in the ocean. Where in the ocean? Dude! Secret. The balloon gets to know and I don't. I don't know. Somewhere in the Seychelles? Wherever that is? I mean, maybe they describe it in the vast library of audio cassette tapes they give you to catch you up on the story, but I'll never know. Wow, you're bailing on the story. I've never heard you say that before. Yeah, well this one's complete gobbledygook. And Boldleby shit. I literally spent an hour on a Reddit thread just trying to figure out the backstory to this thing, and all I know now is that JFK's assassination is pretty suspect in this universe. In most universes. Sounds like an hour well spent. So do you even know how to play this thing? More or less. I usually just find this hostage or capture that rogue commander. It's your basic snatch and grab spy sh Yeah, I'm still hung up on the balloons. You and half of Afghanistan! <laughs> you burnt! Uh... Anyway, what's the problem, buddy? What are they? Why are they? When, also, probably. Okay, look, you can't overthink this one, man. You gotta have a kid's perspective to really appreciate it. It's just a simple, super fun spy game. Don't overlogic me and make me explain the story, deal? I can deal with it if you can. I can't. The balloons are basically a way of getting resources back to your base. Uh, guns, jeeps, containers of raw material, people. Is your base a prison? It has a prison. Small one, you know, for guys that got captured but don't want to get with the program. Which is... Join my army! To accomplish... Kinda don't know, but do it! Join it! Okay, so the balloons are basically a recruitment tool. Oh yeah! Very effective, too. As long as I don't send it up during a sandstorm or into a building, I'm getting me an engineer for life! Otherwise they die horribly. But why would they fight for you? Because they're scared, I guess, or maybe inspired. Or just had a really fun balloon ride. I, they salute a lot when I go back to base, but I can't tell if it's out of respect or fear. They don't fight back when I choke them out, so I think they like me. So you're a terrorist. I am technically not a terrorist. I'm, I'm not sure what the propaganda master Ocelot's spinning back at HQ, but he does exude trustworthiness, so I'm sure our troops' loyalty is beyond question. Ocelot, is that his code name? Oh, no, no. His name is Revolver Ocelot. Oh, that's fucking terrible. You don't know the half of it. There are awful names everywhere in the series. There's a scientist named Dr. Strangelove. Come on, stop it. The real Dr. Strangelove is rolling over in his radioactive grave. The real Dr. Strangelove is also not real, but... Oh, there's a CIA guy named Hot Coldman. Not a code name. That's amazing. Plus, like, half the names sound the same. You got Boss, Big Boss, Different Person, Paws, Kaz, Ozalot, kind of a stretch. Plus I think there's a guy named Ross in there somewhere. And everybody gets like three names in their introduction. Ocelot goes by Ocelot, Adam, Adamska, and Shalashaska. I also call him the Revolvester, but that's just a little in-joke we have. Why so many names? Because whoever wrote this game is shitting out plots like the creative kid in third grade. 
It's just a stream of consciousness insanity, and everyone else is trying to feel included. My character, Snake, has maybe 30 names. Big Boss, Boss, Snake, Naked Snake, Venom Snake, John, all dick euphemisms. You pretty much have to assume that if someone is talking, they're talking to you. Wait, I thought you were Solid Snake. No, Solid Snake is a clone of my character, the Big Boss, along with Liquid Snake and Solidus Snake. And God damn it, you got me to explain the plot to you. I felt like you secretly wanted to, so. Uh-huh. Anyway, the cloning project also had a code name. Guess what it is? I don't know. Uh, Project Awful. Almost! Awful kids, but in French, Les Enfants Terribles. It's seriously like a pre-adolescent short story. All the agencies go rogue and flip on each other. No one's loyal to anything, yet somehow everybody's a patriot. It's asinine. And why do you like it? Because it's like a video game that a genius third grader made. I mean, see that guy over there? Watch me kill him with a supply drop. <laughs> now watch what happens when I go to get the supplies. <laughs> Kids are so dumb. You know, you can play almost the whole game from inside the cardboard box if you want to. Do that right now. Oh, this is the greatest game I've ever seen. Exactly. You want to build a fort? Obviously. Finally. You have materials just back Shh. there? A f you need some kind of covering. Come back here. That's not a fort just being behind the couch. Just do it, come on. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching whatever that video was. We hope you enjoyed it. We here at Cracked have been nominated for two Webby Awards. Best Humor Website and Online Video Channel, which you are watching right now. So if you could go to the links in the description and vote for us both times, that would be amazing. We have until April 21st. Do it now. Thank you. USA! USA!